Hello everyone and welcome back for another tutorial with me, You Were a Monkey. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you step by step how to build this exact living room. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to need to start out with a space that is three by four. Now grab a large metal sign post and we'll place it in the wall just so that the legs are hidden inside the stone wall. This will act as our television. Now we'll grab three feeding troughs and we'll place them directly underneath the television and we'll make sure that they are nice and straight and then we will place some tables inside them. And now that we have our tables placed, we'll grab a canvas, spin it around, and we'll place a vessel on top of that. To quickly put up some pillars and some glass walls, so of course we're going to place our fence foundations all the way around the build, and then we'll place our pillars for those of you on official, and then we'll place our greenhouse walls. Hey you! Yeah you! Did you know that when I see that I have new subscribers, it makes me want to create more things? So make sure you hit that subscribe button! Okay, now that we are done that, we are going to go and remove the foundations where we will be placing our couches and our chairs. I will be placing stone stairs wherever the armrests will also be sitting. We're going to start by placing a bench and then we're going to place gravestones on either side uh, just step down on the stairs so that they are at a lower point so that they act as our breasts for our couch. Now I did originally learn this from Fire Pumpkin so make sure to check out her channel. She's definitely been my inspiration throughout all of my buildings so go ahead and give her a shout out. I'm sure if you're watching me you definitely know who she is. Now the struggle with this is getting it absolutely straight just because you really want to make sure that it looks clean and well placed. And now we'll pick up the bench and we'll do the armrest over here. We'll start by placing a chair so that we have the proper width and then place the gravestones on either side. And we'll repeat that same step over on the other side here. Now, don't do what I'm doing here and wing them out. It really didn't look good, so I end up changing it later. So just don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Now we'll pick up the chair and we'll replace the foundations. And now we'll finish off our couch, we'll place our bench, and then we're going to place three gravestones behind. We're gonna place the two outside pieces first and then the inside so that it lines up perfectly in the center. Add a secondary bench and then add our artifact pedestals underneath to make it look just slightly classier than it does right now. And now add a gravestone to the back of this 
and then we will put a artifact pedestal as the seat. And here's where I destroy this and fix it. So we're going to make these straight and do the exact same thing that we did on the other side and just make it look really nice and clean. And now that we have our chairs in, we'll fill in that glass and we're going to place some tech ladders up all of these pillars. And now we're going to make our computer desk chair. So we're going to place a temporary gravestone just for the size and then place the arms and then we'll place in uh, the foundation again. And then of course the back of the chair and then an artifact pedestal as the cushion. Now we're going to place three gravestones as our three screen computer and then we'll be replacing in the feeding troughs with a dino leash as the mouse and a wall sign as the keyboard. We will also be placing tables inside these feeding troughs, of course. Don't forget to deactivate so you don't have the little red flashy flashy because that's super annoying. And now that we have that place, we're going to grab a wall sign and place it on the desk and twist it slightly so it's nice and straight and it looks like a keyboard once it's all painted up. Now we'll grab two more feeding troughs and stretch out the edge of the desk here and we'll be placing two more tables inside and then a bench in front of the second feeding trough. This will become our little painting area later on. Now grab a mortar and pestle and place it on an angle like this and then you can place your canvas just like this and it looks like an easel. Place a large box and a bookshelf, and now we will make the behind the couch table. We'll start by placing two small boxes, and then we're going to grab a table and slide it in so that it's slightly sticking into the gravestones and slightly sticking out from the boxes so we have a little bit of an overhang. And now we're just going to build a little love seat. So we're going to remove this foundation, put in some stairs, and then we're going to grab our gravestones. We're going to place two of them and then place our uh, hand rests and then we'll replace the foundations. And for the love seat, we're going to place a bench so that more than one person can sit on it at a time. And then finish it off with the artifact pedestals. And now we're going to head over back to the desk and we're going to place two small crop plots on top of each other with the top one spun around slightly. Now on this wall we're going to place two catwalks on the outside and then we're going to actually start placing small crop plots and we're going to create an arch on the wall. So we're going to place three small crop plots on each of the catwalks and then we're going to slightly uh, stack them. But they're going to be slightly moved over to the right and the left on both sides until they create a peak in the center. I also learned this from Fire Pumpkin a long time ago. So if you look at the small crop plots, there's a little cutout in the middle of each of the crop plots. So if you line up the end right to that divot, you can stack them perfectly all the way across. 
I will add that you will want to remove the walls while you are stacking these or after you finish stacking them just so that you can seed these. You will be able to fertilize them, but you will not be able to seed them if the walls are in place. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this so that your walls aren't holding up anything important above these planters. And now we're going to place three small crop plots directly underneath the television, two side by side and one on the top. Grab an artifact pestle and place it right here. And now we'll grab a trophy mount. You can place whatever dinosaur head or whatever you want in here. I just happen to have an alpha dragon on me, so I'm going to use that. So this plant build that I'm about to do is something that I learned from another YouTuber named Vilad. And you can check out his YouTube channel here. And this is what he did. He basically placed all of these crop plots and spun them around slightly. And it was such a beautiful thing when I saw it. I was like, I have to make this. So this is it here. And uh, it, it just looks awesome when it's done. I love this. And you know me, I love plants. So this automatically spoke to me. So thanks, Vlad. This is super awesome. So we're gonna bring this right up to the top where the catwalks meet up. And we're gonna keep stacking these crop plots all the way around and then we're gonna line the catwalks with uh, medium crop plots and then we're gonna plant them all and get some paint going on. Okay, and that's all of the crop plots for there. We're gonna grab a mortar and pestle and we're gonna place it with our painting. And we're gonna grab four more canvases and we're gonna place them on the wall here, spaced out nicely. And then we're gonna go on the other side of the dragon head and place them on the other side here as well. Now, I cut this off slightly here, but it's just three benches. I'm going to paint them black and then I'm going to place four other benches uh, slightly wider than the table and then paint them a different lighter color it just makes a really cool effect and of course all of the paint and the fertilizer and seeding and whatnot I'm going to do off camera so uh, you'll be able to see what all of this looks like shortly always you don't have to paint the colors that I paint you can totally do it whatever color you want I picked blue black brown and parchment and I really like the way that it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around for this tutorial and I'll make another one soon. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for a tutorial that you would like to see me do, make sure that you leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for being here, and we'll see you again next time. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye!